Hello all, welcome back to Fallout 4. I am currently building a Minutemen themed fortress and I wanted to do some decorating. I had added a couple of Minutemen themed settlement crafting mods and the first one is Blue's Minutemen Flag Pack. This is going to give you a large variety of Minutemen flags. They are located under decorations and then flags. What makes this mod really good is that it gives you a flag for most of the settlements that are in the game. And each flag will represent the settlement along with the Minutemen logo. So an example would be a flag that has like the Minutemen logo with a sunshine in the background. And that is to represent sunshine tidings. Or, you know, a green flag with a bolt to represent a garden and robots for the gray garden settlement. So I think this one is really good. Like I said, I was looking for some Minutemen themed decorating mods and this one definitely helped with that so i'm gonna keep this and it's also safe to merge so in addition to this mod i have gotten the minuteman morale pack which will also give you some flags as well as posters and signs i'm actually surprised i have not discovered this mod sooner the decorations here have the right amount of color and wear to them a couple of flags were clipping through the wall when I was trying to place them, but it's no big deal when you look at everything else that this mod has to offer. Not to mention you could probably just use the pillar glitch to fit the flags in the way you want them anyway. So I enjoyed the US colored drapes also featured in the Fallout 76 game, as well as the sign that says the Minuteman General's Quarters. So that's a nice sign to place for, you know, your player character if they have their own separate room. So this is a must have for any uh, fan of the Minutemen faction. Next we have Minutemen Power Armor for All. This is a great mod for those who want a Minutemen themed painted, you know, power armor and they didn't want to use the T45 power armor because originally the T45 was the only power armor that could use the Minutemen paint. So with this mod, you will actually be able to put this paint scheme on the T45, 51, 60 as well as the X01 power armors. Um, there's a grayish version and a bluish version. You can actually use both of them together at the same time and it is safe to merge. I have been using this mod for quite a while now. Next is the survivalist bus mod and we had already showcased this mod earlier but since it has gotten some new updates I wanted to come back and showcase the newest version of this mod. So with this version you will have a couple more paint schemes and you'll have you know a Voltec paint scheme as well as like a DC city line paint scheme and you can now attach ballistic and laser turrets to the roof of this bus and they are essential and they will attack nearby hostile enemies so there's also a new rear add-on as well that lets you attach a power armor I thought that this was nice because it was something that I wanted prior to this update even coming out so I tried having hostiles next to the bus and I do not think that they will actually take the power armor while it is hooked onto the bus. So that is actually a nice feature. You don't have to worry about anybody stealing your power armor. Um, I am really loving this survivalist uh, bus mod. It's one of my favorite mods that came out uh, recently. And, you know, I have been using this thing with no problems. So it's really good. The new paint scheme that came out, this dark greenish ar uh, army looking paint scheme is the one that I'm going to be using the most now. So... Thank you to Pra and Eleonora once again for making this mod. That's going to do it for me on this video. I wanted to share those mods with you as I am using them on my new settlement. That should be finished and showcased soon. So thank you all for stopping by and checking me out. I will see you all next time.